And in this one, we're going to be installing some heated grips I got. First, we're going to remove this grip, pull out the handlebar plug, and work our screwdriver around on the inside. And that loosens it up. And loosening the new ones, which are clamp-on style grips, we can slip it right on. And once we've got it on, we can just tighten it down. And we'll go to the other side, remove that outer handlebar plug, and work this grip off. I use a screwdriver and stuff it in, and then by rotating around, it loosens it off the handlebar. And then that gets it loosened up, and you can work it off the handlebar. Then we can get off our old grips and slide on the other side. And once we have this side on, we'll go ahead and tighten it up. Then we're going to go to the front dash, get a little Torx bit, and undo those two screws holding the cover on. And we'll get underneath there. We... Next, once you have those screws out, there's clips all around here under the front. So next we're going to pop those off. And then it'll slide backwards. And that removes. Next we're going to run our wiring down through where the other wiring is. And just slip it right through the hole. We're going to zip tie it all up so it's all clean. It doesn't snag on anything. They also in the box here is this little switch it goes from low to high so the next spot is to figure out where to put it so let's go over on that side get our hole marked get the right diameter of drill bit and then we'll go ahead and drill this hole once we get the hole drilled, we're going to clean it up so we can slip our button in there. We can now attach our wires to it. Okay, there are two accessory plugs on the Arctic Cat here. There's one on the front and there's one at the rear. This one I have my winch plugged into. And when we install these grips, we're going to need another plug to wire to those. So you have a two pin trailer plug. That's what this is for the accessory plug. That's what I used here. Soldered this onto my winch plugs. So to get two in here, because I have grips and a winch, Arctic Cat has this splitter. So I'll have a winch and heated grips plugged into the accessory plug. We'll go ahead and clean up the end of these wires and put on the wire crimps. Once we have the blue and white wires crimped in, we have the red wire which goes to the covered one on the two-way trailer plug and we're going to solder that on we'll use heat shrink on here because it's going to be in a place where moisture will get into and that'll keep our wires dry Alright, we've got our ground going to our ground, our positive going to positive, blue and white, accessory plug here. With all our wire connections ready to go, we can stick them on according to the instructions that came. 
top was blue, middle was white, and bottom was red. Then we can attach our two-way plug to our accessory plug and plug our winch and our heated grips back in. Make sure we still have movement. Reinstall the gauge that we took out so we could have some more room in there. And we'll get all the wiring cleaned up. Then we'll reinstall the two screws, tighten those up, and give it a test. They're getting warm. It's only been about 60 seconds. Got my switch down here so I can have the option. I can put a light over here if I want to. I turned these on earlier, and it only took about 60 seconds for them to warm up. And that's how I put heated grips on my ATV. I'll see you in the next video.